Hello and welcome to this abridged version of the course on corporate structures for charities and not-for-profits. I'm Jane Adams and I'm delighted that you have found half an hour in your day to spend with me on this short course. I'm going to take you through different types of legal structure. Uh, we'll have a think about personal liability and then we'll work through what is the process of incorporating a charity. A popular misconception is that charity is a legal structure in itself, but with the exception of a charitable incorporated organisation, more on those later, that isn't actually the case. Charity or charitable is a status achieved if an organisation meets the legal test of what makes a charity a charity, that it exists for exclusively charitable purposes, for the public, public benefit, and that it is subject to the jurisdiction of the High Court. That's sections one and two of the Charities Act 2011. A charity or not-for-profit, therefore, requires its own legal structure, and that structure could be an incorporated one or an unincorporated one. An incorporated structure is a legal person in its own right, so it has its own legal personality, it can enter into contracts, it can own assets, etc. It has perpetual succession because it's its own legal personality. When board members change, there's no need to make changes, for example, to contracts or ownership of property, and that makes life administratively much simpler and likely less legally fraught. It also offers the protection of limited liability for board members. So in the event that...